Hello, happy Tuesday, everyone. We have two minutes on second right of interment. So a right of interment is essentially that contract between the cemetery and the purchaser of the grave space to allow them to bury in that grave space. So a second right of interment is the right to have a second burial on that one grave space. Now we're encountering this term a lot more because people are burying cremated remains on a grave space that already has somebody buried there, whether they're in a casket or whether they are cremated as well. You don't encounter this term at every cemetery. Some cemeteries allow up to four people to be buried on a grave. It just depends on the cemetery. But I've had this term used a lot at work recently and so I figured some of you were encountering it as well. Now where it gets confusing is that some cemeteries charge a secondary price at the time of burial for this second right of interment. Because you are not technically buying another grave space, it's kind of like the cemetery is charging you again for using that same grave space because they are not able to essentially make money on selling a space again, but you're using a space. Does that make sense? So you may hear this term because the cemetery charges opening and closing and for the second right of interment there. Um, so you may get a substantially higher amount charged than just the opening and closing depending on the cemetery. This may also happen if you bury cremated remains inside of a casket. So you have kind of a dual burial and both people are buried at the same time. You only have one opening and closing, but technically, but they may charge for both opening and closings and the second right of interment in that same action. So if you encounter these costs, do not be surprised and they are legal, but you will not always encounter them when you do that second burial on a grave space.